Hello, my name is Stuart Herbert, and this is one of a series of videos I'm recording showing how I'm using Sublime Text 2 for PHP development. And in this video I want to show one of Sublime Text 2's built-in features, which is the Go To Anything um, panel. So if we open up a demo class here, one you'll recognize from some of the other videos I've recorded. And I've got a little setter here, I'll set these options. Now. I, what I want to do here is add some verification at the top and I'd like to use a, a library called contract lib but I can't quite remember how it's done so I'd like to open up the code for contract lib to see how to use it now you could do it the old-fashioned way by going over here on the left hand side expanding expanding drilling down like this until you can get to what you're looking for expanding expanding, expanding, like that, because I want to open up the test code and see how the test code works. This test code right here. So I can read the code and see how it's used. And that's one way to work, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the Sublime Text 2 way is a lot quicker. It's called the Go To Anything pane. So if I hit Control P, it brings up the Go To Anything pane. And this, what this is, a list of files that happens to be open on the left hand side. Okay, so this is the entire folder structure off the left hand side. So I'm looking for a file called contract test. As I type, bang, up it comes just like that. And I can see exactly what I want. And in the background, it's actually going to open the file up as well. So I can see exactly which one I wanted. And all I have to do to use it is hit return and I'm in. And that's the go to anything page. And once you get used to it, it takes a while to get into the habit of going to it rather than drilling around on the right left hand side. But once you get to the hang of it, it really speeds things up, it really makes a difference. <coughs> so here's another example. I've got this one here, this contract failed exception. Now, of course, I could use the C tags plugin, which I've demonstrated in one of my other videos, to go to that. And that would be perfectly good. But either you haven't got C tags set up, or you decided it wasn't for you, you can use it using go to anything. So, bang. What am I looking for? I'm looking for an exception. That's the name of the file. You see, there's quite a lot there. But, I remembered it's E5XX. <coughs> and bang, all it comes. Now you'll notice here the fuzzy matching starting to kick in. I haven't typed the full name of the exception, but what it's done is it's gone and found everything that matches the names there that I've gone for. Now you see what it's done, it's picked up a lot of code coverage at that point, which is not ideal. But you soon get in the habit of sticking things like source in front. <coughs> and source slash php and now it's finding the exceptions that I want and there we are contract field exception a quick way to navigate around and find everything you want now the fuzzy matching is very powerful and although it might have seemed that it took me a, a few attempts to find the file I wanted there what you find in practice is once you're used to the structure of your code and what particular fuzzy matching helps you find the file by name that you want, you you normally find that you quickly start typing exactly what you want to find the file once you're used to the structure. It soon becomes second nature, it becomes really quick and it's an amazing feature. And I don't actually have anything um, that uses subversion checked out, but if I did being able to search, you limit your searches to just the trunk folder and ignore your track, your tags and your branches. Oh, it saves so much time, it really does. Thankfully I, I use git here so I don't have to worry about that, but if you're still stuck with subversion, this, oh it saves so much time, it really does. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.